everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my March favorite from 2015. So I'm going to be re-watching the video that I did two years ago and update you. Do I still love those products? Do I still own them? Have I not touched them for two years? If you don't know, I'm doing this series every mid-month. I'm going back as far as I have. Some of them are two years old, some of them are three years old, and just looking back at my monthly favorites because I feel like sometimes your taste really change, sometimes you just forget about products because you're constantly testing out some new ones, so let's do this. I haven't watched it, so I don't even know what I'm gonna be talking about. I try to actually do my makeup pretty simple, so I might be able to test again some of them if I haven't tried them in a while, so let's do this. And by the way, let's brace yourself because Emily from two years ago had only been speaking English for two years, so. Prepare for the French accent. Hey guys, welcome back on my channel. Today's video is gonna be my March favorite. So I will be sharing with you everything that I've been discovering or absolutely loving this month. Let's just start with what's on my lips because I know I'm gonna get questioned. And it is the Milani Lip Liner. This is the color statement one in the color Bordeaux, which is a beautiful burgundy shade. Okay. <laughs> I sound really, really shy, okay. I miss that room. If you don't know, I moved a few times since and I loved filming in front of that window. The lighting was amazing and I feel like here I'm struggling a little bit, but yes, that lip liner. I know I still have it. Okay, so I have my lip liners and I know I have it. Like, ha, yes. So this was the color, like I said, Bordeaux and this is such an amazing color for lip liner and they're surprisingly creamy and really great for the price. I definitely still like this color. So if you were looking for the perfect burgundy lip planners, this is definitely one of the ones that I still love, still use it. And in that video, I also mentioned right after this color, this is the color Nude from the same range from the Milani lip planners. Definitely still like this one too. It's a great nude. It's like not too brown, but just a little bit of brown in there and it's not too dark, so I can definitely still easily pull it off. Definitely great lip liners. I actually should try more from uh, Milani because these two I definitely like and they're getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> the first one is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. This was part of the uh, gift set in the holiday season, but the bronzer is absolutely amazing. First of all, it smells like chocolate, which right there, I'm sold. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna soak myself right there. Uh, now I have the full size of that bronzer and definitely still love it. Actually, it's on this table because I'm constantly using it. If you have fair skin, this is definitely the bronzer that I would recommend for you because it will not look orange. This is just the perfect, the perfect, the perfect <laughs> color. And like I said in that video, still obsessed with the chocolate smell. So I definitely uh, upgraded with the size. This one is definitely easier to use than travel size. So yeah, definitely one of the ones that I still absolutely love. It uses it on a daily basis during the winter. So actually I'm not wearing any bronzer, so I might as well apply some of it. You can't really overdo it, which is nice. Again, if you have fair skin, sometimes bronzer can definitely be like too much really quickly. And this one is really, really easy to use. Next. <laughs> it's no secret I really, really love NARS blushes, but I've been trying out a lot this blush contour kit. This one is the lightest one, which is the color Olympia. And it's amazing. I don't care that much for the highlight shade, which is kind of a uh, milky white color. It's good. I used it actually today under my eyes to set my concealer and it did a trick, but it's nothing like really impressive. It's. I have not worn this in a long time. Let me go and grab it. So I still have it, but I haven't used this in a while. I did used to use this quite a bit. I feel like the blush especially is great. If you're someone that you're in a rush in the morning and you don't want to apply blush and bronzer, this is definitely the type of like product I would recommend because it's definitely like in between. It's a super natural blush color as you can see right here. Actually, let me apply some. It's not because it's not a good product. It's just literally because I've been testing out so many that eventually some of them just end up being put back in the main collection and they don't come out ever again. I definitely like NARS blushes, but maybe this one is just less memorable because I have other ones that are more like, oh my God, I absolutely love it. But this is such a natural everyday color. It's definitely still a great blush. I still agree though that this like highlighting color, I don't really use it. Like it's not that it's a really bad texture or anything. It's just that I don't reach for it at all. So personally for me, I don't regret buying it. 
I still love the, br the blush. I'm actually gonna make sure that I wear it a few times at least this month just to remind myself that it exists, but I'm still not crazy about the highlighting side. It's just me, not necessarily for me. I really like how the NARS contour blush uh, in Olympia actually looks. It's really growing on me. I'm gonna be continuing to wear this. I can't believe I haven't worn this in so long. Eyes, I've been really, really going to simple looks because I've been such in a rush. Like it's like the end of my semester and I don't have time for that. Like I just Still don't. But semester. I've been really liking my Urban Decay Naked 2 <gasps> Basics. It's like a beautiful cool tone palette which has like six beautiful shades. I've been going to that shade a lot as you can probably tell. This one is the color cover. Which I have not worn this in so long and I know I absolutely love it but once again eyeshadow palette there's always so many coming out and you feel like forced to like test them out and try them. Some of them are sent to me, some of them I buy myself because I'm really excited and then some like classic staple colors just end up being lost in there but this is such a great everyday one. Let me grab it. I still own this palette. It's a great palette. I still think it's a great like basic palette, especially this one number two is a little bit more cool tone. If you're looking for one eyeshadow palette to own that has all matte colors, definitely would be this one and number one would be the one that I would tell you to just grab because they are pretty small but compact and they have like everything you need to do those makeup looks. If I wasn't doing YouTube for example, this definitely would be one of the palettes I would own and like use on a daily basis. It just has everything you need especially because I like a little bit like cooler undertone shadows. I especially like cover and primal, so these two colors in the crease, they will not look orange, which I know if you have a cooler undertone, it can be hard to find, so these two colors. So yeah, the pigmentation is great, they blend super well, they're not chalky, I definitely like the quality eyeshadow, but I completely forgot about this, but not because it's not good, definitely do not regret buying this. I'm actually gonna be leaving it on my table because sometimes some eyeshadow looks, I'm missing those type of like basic colors, so, but I haven't used this in a long time, but I feel like eyeshadows always, like there's always so many coming out, like, I have to admit, basically forgot about this one, but it's a great, great product and I'm gonna be using this. I just realized I didn't even try to apply some. Let me apply a little bit in my crease because I wanna give a special mention to, I know it's just a sample size, but I've been loving it. And I'm talking about the NARS, uh, this is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Santa Fe, which is Okay, can I just talk about this product for a minute? I ended up actually buying the full size in the next Sephora sale, which is the month after. And when I moved, it disappeared. I swear little legs must have just appeared on that foundation and it just left. Like, I haven't been able to find this foundation in months. I have been looking for it, it's nowhere, so I just gave up. I did like it, I should probably try it again, but it literally just disappeared, so I guess I don't own it anymore. <laughs> One more product before we go to the lip section. I've been wearing this product nonstop, and I'm talking about the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. <laughs> I usually wear false eyelashes in any of my videos. Just I'm actually wearing it today, so still loving it. I still actually have a sample size. I put it on this morning. Where the hell did I put it? So yeah, obviously different sample. That one didn't last me two years, but. I still always grab the sample sizes whenever they are like 100 point perks at Sephora because, because I love this mascara. I would totally buy it a full size, I have done that in the past and it's a great mascara. I don't like to spend too much on mascaras, I always tend to like try so many and I feel like drugstore, especially on a budget, you can definitely find something that will work for you. But this is one of the mascaras that I do not mind to splurge for because it gives me everything I want. Some length, some volume, some curl. It just separates your lashes super, super well. This is definitely something that I could also use on top of the mascara just to like separate them better. Like I said, I'm wearing it today and it just gives me everything I want. So still absolutely love this. Totally recommend it. It's just funny though that I have sample size and I still do. <laughs> like look at that. Who doesn't want lashes that look like this with just mascara? That close-up is still impressive. <laughs> First lip product I want to mention is something I wasn't sure I would actually like and I'm talking about the Annabelle uh, Lipsy lip balm. This is kind of- I have no idea where it is. Again, I have moved so many freaking times, like how much like six times in the last two years. It got to a point where it was just ridiculous. So. I still like this product. Right now, I should be wearing it. I will actually try to find it. It's basically one of those like tinted lip balm, 
But you know how very often to lip balm either don't last on your lips or whenever they're gone, they just haven't done anything. Like they might have left a bit of color, but your lips are still dry. Not these. The only thing is that they are available in Canada. US, you can buy them online and I totally recommend them. I have tried some of the lighter shades, which I would avoid unless you like the type of like a little bit frosty look. I tried, is it the cocoa? And it's just frosty looking and I'm not into that. But this one was the raspberry one. So good. And it smells delicious. And it's almost a bit oily on your lips. It doesn't move around. It leaves some color. Whenever the balm is gone, or mostly gone because it lasts a long time, your lips are feeling so soft and still moisturized. So definitely probably the best tinted lip balm that I've tried. So I have tried a lot of lip products, so it's a huge statement, but yeah, very, very good. And I have no freaking clue where it is. And if I can't find it, I'm actually gonna go and buy it because it's the time of the year where I like those type of like berry colors, but that are moisturizing because winter, I can't deal with the dry lips. This product I've been wearing a lot, especially in the beginning of the month when I was testing the formula of these before doing the lip swatch video. And I'm talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. This one is the color vintage. Okay. Still think they were great products. They came out with so many more shades since. And I've been trying to accumulate all of them so I can do like an updated version of the lip swatches. I link the one that I currently have where I had like at least 10, 12 colors. And I'm trying, like I said, to accumulate all the colors. Some of them are like exclusive to their websites, which the shipping is so expensive for Canada. So I'm going to be trying to like get my hands on the colors that are missing. And this year, I don't know when, but this year I will definitely be doing an updated lip swatches. But I'm trying to separate them because I have so many liquid lipstick lip swatches to do. And they are the worst for your lips. But I need to do uh, a new, an updated version for sure. But that color is definitely pretty. If I had to talk about the ones that I still like more than that now, I would go with like, uh, is it like soft lilac and everything? Like that type of like baby pink. Definitely better than like colors that they used to have, like uh, pure Hollywood. Not the best looking thing on your lips. Like it's not really flattering, but vintage was good. Uh, soft lilac is one of the new colors. Anything that is like bright from the first batch are good. Some of them are a little uneven and the new batches are so much better. So definitely think they are worth the money. Still like them. And I'm excited to try all the new colors. And probably my favorite of all of them has to be the next one, which I've been wearing this so much. It's just, it has been like an everyday lip color ever since I've tried this. And I'm talking about the uh, Milani Matte Lipstick. This one is the color Naked. Okay, uh, this is one of my all-time favorite lipstick. Look how new it looks. And I'm gonna go and get it because it's in my purse right now. So wait a second. Okay, so like I said, it was in my purse and this is what it looks like now. It might not be that impressive for people that only have a couple lipsticks, you go through them. I have hundreds of lipsticks. It's just how it is because I swatch so many for lip swatch videos. I get sent a ton, I buy a ton to do those videos, compare the colors, compare the formulas. So I've accumulated a lot of them, but I'm constantly trying so many so I don't tend to wear the same color often, like at all. So for a lipstick to look like this, it means that I have been wearing the crap out of it compared to the other ones. And it is definitely still top three favorite nude lipsticks that I own, ever. What's great is I like this color, whether I am at my fairest, like right now, I'm currently wearing uh, foundation wise, the uh, Lacombe one in 110C. So definitely more cool tone, more fair. And I'm wearing this also during the middle of summer. This is perfect all year round for me. It is brown, but it's not too brown. I feel like if you compare it to like Velvet Teddy by MAC, that one is definitely too brown for me. I can't pull it off all year round for sure. Like maybe middle of summer and even then it's not my favorite color. This one has a hint of brown in it, but it's still like enough like purpley-ish, mauve-ish that it's super wearable. If you have a warmer undertone, it will definitely look a little bit more on the mauve side, but this is amazing. Absolutely love this. And yeah, I, I have worn this. <laughs> Probably top three favorite nude lipstick of all time. That's a huge statement for me. By the way, it is matte and it smells like vanilla. Everyone needs this. Well if it suits you. So let's finish this video. <laughs> Quickly I wanted to mention two uh, nail polish that I've been wearing nonstop this one too. These two babies, which will be absolutely perfect oh, for yeah. spring. I don't know why, lipstick, makeup, I'm still into like fall winter, but nail polish, I'm all about the spring. 
I'm actually wearing this one right now, which is the SC, uh, this is the Mint Candy Apple. It was my first time using it the other day and I fell in love completely with this. Two coats was opaque enough, which is my issue usually with SC, not with these two. I actually just messed it up this morning. But this is everything that uh, Turquoise and Caicos wasn't for me. If you have tan skin, this looks amazing on you. If you have fair skin, I feel like on me, it looked like almost dirty and grayish. It just washed me out. This one is just a little bit more blue in it. It looks amazing. I know I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. And I also really like Bikini Sotini, which everyone raves about and they're right. It's absolutely beautiful. Definitely agree. Uh, candy, Mint Candy Apple, still a great color. I don't have it with me because literally <laughs> I have a box full of my nail polishes. I'm currently trying to like get rid of some, but Mint Candy Apple is the one I'm keeping. I'm pretty sure I already got rid of uh, Turquoise and Caicos. If you have tan skin, like I said in the video, that one will work for you. If you have fair skin, it wasn't the best on me. The other one just has a little bit more blue in it, so it's super wearable. Definitely still love that color. And the next one, Bikini Sotini. I still like it, but I think I prefer uh, the OPI uh, You're Such a Budapest. I feel like there's just enough purple in there that it's like better. I like it more than the Bikini Sotini, which I know everyone loves, but I prefer You're Such a Budapest. So that's it, guys. This was my update two years later for my March favorites. Let me know if you prefer me watching my old videos with you or if you prefer just me like knowing in advance and then talking about them, let me know what you prefer and I will obviously adjust. I'm still obviously trying to figure out what concept and exactly how to do those videos. So let me know if you have any suggestions, but yeah, those were my March favorite of 2015 but updated two years later. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.